Hey guys, I am back and today I have a sniff along for you. It is my order from House of Usher Wax Museum. Uh, Brooke is the owner and I ordered her Alice in Wonderland sampler box and I got two other clamshells that were separate from the box. I wanted to show you this is how it came and on top we have um, the scents descriptions uh, a good old invoice and look at this beautiful box I hope you could see it I hope I don't spill it <laughs> but this cost me I want to say this, the Alice box was 17 something plus shipping and the clamshells were three fifty each, I think. <laughs> I will start with the clamshells because they're totally different than the box. I got her Polyjuice Potion from her one of her Harry Potter lines. And I got a custom clamshell of a scent I wanted to duplicate from Itty Bitty Bubbles, my favorite one, Love Spell Lemon Drop. And this is Love Spell plus Lemon. It's, look at it, the label has Eager Allen Poe. The wax is white, as with most of her customs, because I think it's quicker for her that way to churn them out. And it smells like Love Spell Lemon Drop. I can't wait to use it. She has the pour. The pour date's not on this one, but I assume it's the same as the rest of them. The pour date on the Polyjuice was 2 2016 and let's see, like I read the notes on it, I forget what's in it, but it sounded like something I'd like. And I'm not sure if I like it. It smells a little herbal, and maybe it's just my sniffer and I gotta let it cure. Maybe it will smell different melted, I don't know. If anyone else has this, tell me what you think. And We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Now comes the Alice box itself. It came with this cute little Alice card. And there was another one here, but I don't know where he went. It was one of the Mad Hatter. Uh, but I will start off. First up, I really, I'm so weird. I do not like Alice in Wonderland, but... Uh, or the movie, the books, anything. I just don't like it. But this was a fruity and a clean scented box. And that's what drew me in because I like those type of scents. Here's the rabbit I was looking for. And it says, eat me. And it's this beautiful, I'll take it out. I would take it out if I didn't have the ribbon on. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a heart shape. But it has like an indent of a heart in the middle. And it's in the scent, off with their heads. And it, I smell the clean, and I think some kind of strawberry. So, let's, that's how it's going to work. I'm going to sniff them, and then we're going to see what they actually are. I do smell some lemon in this. Alright, and something, I think, floral. <laughs> da, 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 da. Off with their heads. She is a foul monarch who is quick to decree death sentences at the slightest offense. Fresh, juicy citrus rind lemon peel, lime, bergamot, with lightly subtle fresh cut roses. So there, I kind of got it. Yep, the lemon peel, the citrus, and I do pick up that faint rose. Now, next is, I'll pick it out randomly. I'm going to butcher the names on this. N Nivens McTwist. The White Rabbit. And open it up. It's red. Now this. I smell watermelon. And maybe another kind of melon. I don't know. But I know there has to be more. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. 
fresh fruit salad dominated by cantaloupe and watermelon. I really like that one. I really do. Alright, next is Melikon, the Dormouse. And this has watermelon in it too. I do smell some cucumber, like a fresh hint of like, not like a clean rose or anything, it's like a fresh fruit, like the fresh spa kind of smell. Mally has a secret love for the Mad Hatter, which may be the reason why she gives Alice such a sassy attitude. In fact, the Hatter gave her the weapon she uses, a pin, freshwater cucumber, green melon, wildflowers, and jasmine, with middle notes of lily and violet, bottom notes cashmere musk and watermelon jolly and jolly ranchers for a little sass. Yeah, I, I... See, I'm not good at picking floral notes because... I rarely, I just, I'm not good at it. <laughs> I can't tell the difference in flowers. Oh, but I do, I love, it's a very relaxing smell. Like, if I need to relax, probably, I'd put this in. And here we go. Eat Me. This one is a yellow with a flower in bed. I hope you can see that. Ooh, this is sugary but like a candied I want to say it's a candied fruit oh, da, 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 da. and let me see I'm sorry if it's taken a while with this eat me cakes are magic cakes in wonderland that have a very strange effect they make the eater grow enormous we visited this fragment in this February subscription box that has now landed in its final resting place in the Alice collection Sweet sugar cane with notes of lemon rind and shortbread. So that was pretty close. I like it. So far this box is a winner. Next is Down the Rabbit Hole. This is a green one. Ooh. This smells like grass. I don't know why I'm picking up grass and flowers. <laughs> Drink me. Is that what this one? Yeah, it's drink. No, this is down the rabbit hole. Alice tumbles down the rabbit hole after her curiosity gets the better of her. A refreshing wave of soft petals, watery nuisances, and earthy tones of sea moss. Cloud. I don't know how to say that. Petals, geranium flower, water mint, coriander seed, white cedar, and earthy. V tear. Um, yeah. It's very earthy, but it's not dirty patchouli earthy. <laughs> like, this I might use. I'm not sure, but it's not my usual scent that I would go for. But it's not terrible. <laughs> okay. I want to say this wrong. App. Absolium. I know I'm butchering it. The blue caterpillar. Now this is the cutest. It has all those little mushrooms. She comes up with very creative embeds. I don't know how, but she does. And blueberry. Definitely blueberry. And I'm not a fan of blueberry. I hate blueberry scents most of the time. The caterpillar is a hookah-smoking insect who meets Alice after she has been shrunk to a tiny size. It is exactly three inches tall. According to him, it is a very good height indeed. Though Alice believes it's to be a wretched height. Zesty agave lime with fresh citrus undertones. Nice festive margaritas to wash down a delicious 7-up pound cake. Well, I was wrong. Like, I could, okay, I'm getting the pound cake, but I'm not picking up, I'm, and then get, like, this, the margarita kind of part, and the fizzy, which could be from the 7-Up Pound Cake, too, but I, I don't know. 
it just yeah. it's okay <clears throat> this has two tones in it and it's Cheshire Cat and oh it's not yeah it's two tone like look at this it kind of has a swirl in it yeah. mm. the bottom smells good like a bakery the top is a little different and let me look again he is encountered by Alice and offers pure to purify her bandersnatch claw marks on her arm but she declines and says she will be fine when she has woken up but insists on wrapping in it Alice allows him to he then guides Alice to the mad tea party Blueberry cobbler topped with buttercream and a sprig of spearmint. Now, okay, I get the blueberry now on the top, but I swear when you sniff the bottom, you don't get as much as the blueberry. But, um, I get a creaminess with the buttercream. I do not get spearmint. And this one has glitter on it too. And they switched to these oval cups now, which is a little bit more than two ounces that I've heard. I don't see anything written on it, or it's too tiny that I can't notice. But here we go. Here's another one. This is Drink Me. Now, this cup broke a little, but that's okay. It's still usable. And this is red. Ooh, hold on. I'm not sure about this. I'm a little iffy on it. I don't know exactly what's in it, and I'm not sure if I like it. So, drink me. Drink me. The potion of magic is liquid wonderland that has unusual effect to make the drinker drink drinker shrink in size. Italian orange cream soda topped with a dollop of homemade whipped cream. I get... It's very bubbly up close, but I think maybe when it melts, it might, like, tone down a bit. I could try it. I'm not quite sure, but we'll give it a go. All right, and this next one is Alice. And this has another cute embed, and it's two-toned. I like the colors of this one because I love that blue aqua, and the flower's really cute. This is nice. I really have no idea what's in it. I really wish I knew and we're gonna find out. <clears throat> Alice, strawberry shortcake birthday cake. Yep. I got it now. The strawberries and the cake. Beauty footer. I might I might keep that or give it to my sister. She might like it. And the last one I have is the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. This, oh, this has lavender in it, like real lavender buds. And it is strong. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel. I'm not that big of a lavender fan. But it is nice. Like, someone suggested lavender for headaches. But... I'm not quite sure if it will just irritate me or not. So, we will... What was this called again? I know, I should be more prepared. The Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Mad Hatter asks Alice during the Mad Tea Party. Asks Alice... Uh, la, la. Asks Alice during the mad tea party, the writing desk, she puzzles over the riddle. Why is a raven? I can't understand the way it's formatted right now, but Gin Martini meets lavender in an effervescent lavender martini with Earl Grey tea and lavender essential oils. Loaded with lavender buds, tangy lemon zest, orange, 
carbonation followed by spicy bergamot mint. Uh, smell it again. It's very clean. I you definitely, if you like lavender, this is for you. But and I do get a little of the effervescence and probably the gin. Gin probably makes it like that too. And it, again, I'm not sure if it's for me, but I'll see. I'm, uh, with these, you let them cure a week from pour date. I could probably use them this weekend sometime if I want. I might let them cure a little longer. So we will see. And I hope you enjoyed that sniff along. I'm sorry if there were long pauses, but there was a lot of stuff and a lot of information. So I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. And we'll have a good time again. Bye.